Hey guys, what's up? So this is the Lenovo P2, a battery based and a hell of a phone. Let's check it out. So inside the box we get the handset, of course, the cable, an OTG adapter and a bunch of documentation which no one reads. Then the usual things like the SIM ejector tool, rapid charger, earphones, um, well, the earphones are pretty basic, nothing worth mentioning. Lenovo should at least bundle a in-ear earphone for this price. It comes with a case and a screen protector. Good job Lenovo. On the front there are a bunch of sensors, the earpiece and the front facing 5 megapixel camera. Then a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display. And at the bottom there is a fingerprint scanner which doubles as a multifunction button. Over at the top there is a 3.5 mm headphone jack and a secondary voice cancellation mic. The right side has a volume rocker and the power button. Over the bottom there are two grills. The left one is a mic and the right one is the speaker. In the center there is a micro USB port. Over the left there is the SIM slot which takes two nano SIMs or a nano SIM and an SD card and the power slider. The back is metallic. The top and the bottom part are made of plastic for antennas. Then there is a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, NFC logo and at the bottom there is Lenovo branding. While the phone boots up, let's look at the spec sheet. It comes with a Snapdragon 625. It comes in two RAM variants, 3GB and 4GB. Both have 32GB internal memory. It has a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a 401 PPI. It houses a massive 5100mAh battery and still weighs only about 177 gram. It's a dual SIM hybrid device and comes with a Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Out of the box it has Android 6 which is upgradable to Android 7. On the back it houses a 13 megapixel camera and on the front there is a 5 megapixel camera. It also has NFC. So performance wise this phone is pretty good. It's really smooth, may it be playing games or watching videos. I haven't encountered any lag whatsoever. The Super AMOLED display is amazing. Since it's an AMOLED, there are true blacks and the colors are punchy. The screen alone makes the phone worth it. The weaving angles are good too. The speaker is loud and clear. It doesn't break even at full volume. The days are cold and the cards are full and the saints we see are... The only problem you might face is blocking the speaker sometimes while watching videos. The fingerprint scanner is spot on. It can record up to 5 fingers. It recognizes 9 out of 10 times. Thumbs up to Lenovo. There is also a power saver mode. So right now I have 67% battery and it gives me about 58 hours and 36 minutes of battery life. You can do functions like making a call, sending text. You can also add clock for alarm or a calculator. It has an Android UI made by Lenovo. It is very close to stock and highly customizable. There is also an option of Vibe UI. Now the main thing for which the phone is known for, battery life. It lasts 3 days on moderate usage and up to 1.5 to 2 days on heavy usage which is mental and to top it off it takes one and a half to two hours to charge it from zero to hundred. I personally charge this phone for five to fifteen minutes every day and it lasts me the whole day and then some. It has 32 GB of internal storage of which the OS takes about 18.30 GB. It has an OTG adapter bundle so you can view movies and photos in a pen drive for saving up some space. Hell I have even connected this phone to one TB hard drive and it works. So for the price it comes and the stuff it offers it is phenomenal. I would highly recommend it scoring it a 9 out of 10. In case you still have some doubts about it check out my full in depth review of it. Thank you for watching guys like share and subscribe if you want and I will see you on the other side.